The US stock market has been content to rally to new highs with many stocks going to the moon, including most of our AI tech giants, a rally that I have been distributing into to the extent that I have now sold 80% of my holdings in the top six AI stocks in my portfolio, some of which I've been accumulating for over a decade, i.e. Microsoft. The primary objective of this analysis is to determine where we stand in terms of the top. After all, all bull markets eventually do top, either ending with a crash 1987 style or a bear market like 2000 and 2007. So what to hold and what to sell is the question I am asking myself with a view to riding out a potential bear market or crash, where this analysis deploys a new automated metric of individual stock selling levels so that one better knows where one stands in terms of one's portfolio, all in just one table. After all, the risk we all fear is that of a 2000-style collapse that sends stocks lower for the next 20 years. Remember, that bear market bottomed with a 85% collapse for tech stocks. Yes, one could say that the likes of Amazon, Microsoft, Apple had become dirt cheap, but that would have been a very painful and prolonged discounting event. So a case of balancing the risks of letting some stocks ride whilst cashing in those that will pay a heavy price for their over-exuberance, all whilst being aware of the AI megatrend trending along in the background. And we have the likes of AMD going to the moon. Yes, in hindsight, we can all wish we had bought more. I came close to mid-May to buying more, but at that time was fully invested and thought it unwise to take on even more risk on. But I and my patrons have had plenty of opportunities to buy AMD all the way from March 2020 lows right up until my analysis of 10th of May at a price of $78 or better. That AMD traded down to several times so I will give AMD extra attention in this analysis. And this video is excerpted from my recent extensive analysis that compares the current stock market valuation against the 2000 bubble peak when we had the likes of Cisco, Intel and Microsoft riding high and look at how they have fared since. For instance, Cisco was the numero uno stock of the 2000 bubble peak, destined to double in price. And what did Cisco do? It fell by 90%. So, this extensive analysis takes a look at where we stand are we about to repeat 2000 or similar? Well, you'll find out in my extensive analysis that has first been made available to patrons who support my work. So do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month. That is soon set to rise to $4 per month. So you can lock it in now for $3 before the price hike. And also the analysis covers updated buying and incorporates new selling levels for my AI stocks portfolio as well as covering a range of stock market issues such as the divergence between US and Chinese stock market. So again do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts. $3 per month. That's nothing. And it will be going up to $4 per month. So lock it in now. Here's the facts, and we don't even need to talk about these things. On Thursday at about 11 o'clock in the morning, the Federal Reserve noticed a tremendous drawdown of uh, 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 money market accounts in the United States to the tune of $550 billion dollars was being dr drawn out in a matter of an hour or two. The Treasury opened up its uh, 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 window to help 
they pumped $105 billion in the system and quickly realized that they could not stem the tide. We were having an electronic run on the banks. They decided to close the operation, close down the money accounts, and n announce a guarantee of $250,000 per account so there wouldn't be further panic out there. And that's what actually happened. If they had not done that, th their estimation was that by 2 o'clock that afternoon, $5.5 trillion would have been drawn out of the money market system of the United States, would have collapsed the entire economy of the United States, and within 24 hours, the world economy would have collapsed. Now, we talked at that time about what would happen if that happened. It would have been the end of our economic system and our political system as we know it. And that's why, when they made the point, we've got to act and do things quickly, we did. Now, Secretary Paulson said, let's buy out the subprime mortgages. That's what he came to Congress. But he said, give us latitude and large authority to do many things as we decide necessary. And give us $700 billion to do that. Shortly after we enacted our bill with those very broad powers, the U.K. came out and said, no, we don't have enough money to buy toxic assets. We're, instead, we're going to put our money into banks so that their equity grows and they're, they're, they're not bankrupt. And so uh, uh, the U.K. started that process, and that's true. It was much cheaper to put more money in banks as equity investments than to start buying their bad assets because it became early determined that we'd probably have to spend 3 or $4 trillion of, of, of taxpayers' money to buy these bad assets. And we didn't have, we only had $700 billion. So Paulson made a complete switch, went in and started putting money and buying securities and reinvesting in the banks of the United States. Why? Because if you don't have a banking system, you don't have an economy. And, we, and, and although we did that, it wasn't enough money. And as fast as we did that, the economy has been falling. And the reason last week, we're really no, no better off today than we were three months ago because we've had a decrease in the equity positions of bank because other assets are going south. As we defend ourselves, protect ourselves from the rampant money printing inflation by the central banks. Insane money printing as though it's not going to feed through into wage and price inflation. Big inflation is coming as I've been flagging for well, over six months more it's more like a year now that's why i was saying last year if you're thinking of buying big ticket items do it now before the price hike which have transpired you know i bought a culture k7 for 340 pounds current price on amazon is was it 565 and similar for lots of other tech items i bought for instance the components in my pc that i ordered in january and got delivered in march was 3,100 pounds. Current price of the components is over 4,000 pounds. Crazy, the inflation is here. And it is accelerating regardless of what the indices say. So protect yourselves by investing in assets that are leveraged to inflation. And AI tech stocks are leveraged to inflation and are about to get discounted. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel for such analysis and do consider becoming a patron.